The driving closing is just one more nail in the coffin that is Riverdale. No, forget Riverdale. In the coffin of the American dream. As the godfather of, of, of indie cinema, Quentin Tarantino likes to say, please, God, no more Quentin Tarantino references. What? I'm pissed. And not just about losing my job. The Twilight Drive-In should mean something to us. People should be trying to save it. In this age of Netflix and VOD, do people really want to watch a movie in a car? I mean, who even goes there? People who want to buy crack. And cinephiles. And car enthusiasts. Right, Bets? Totally. Anyway, it's closing because the town owns it but didn't invest in it. So when an anonymous buyer made Mayor McCoy an offer, she couldn't refuse. Anonymous buyer? What do they have to hide? No one cares. I do. Also, you guys should all come to closing night. I'm thinking American graffiti. Or is that too obvious? I vote for anything starring Audrey Hepburn. Or Kate Blanchett. Or the talented Mr. Ripley. Betty, your choices? Everything okay, B? Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking um maybe rebel without a cause <laughs> here you go kids thanks man. now that's an odd combo of people i'll be right back betty no don't wait what's happening this is how my dad had his jason blossom murder board before it was trashed any leads on who did that or what they were looking for? Nope. No fingerprints. They stole a bunch of files, background checks, and all the video and audio tapes of police interviews. Oh, hey, Betty. Trev, hi. Sorry to interrupt. I... Oh, no, uh, it's OK. We're just uh, working on our murder board. Well, I just wanted to make sure we're still on for tomorrow. Absolutely. It's a date. I mean, I'll, I'll see you there. <laughs> Bye. Seth, see ya. Seth, bye. Going on a date with Trev. Does Mama Cooper know about that? Kev, I'm not on house arrest. OK, she's out of town at a women in journalism spa retreat. Anyway, I mean, it's not a date, date. You just called it a date. You literally said it's a date. That's just my cover. Really, it's an intelligence gathering mission. We should focus on the one thing we have access to that your dad doesn't. The kids at Riverdale High. You know, maybe Trev knows something about Jason he didn't think was important. You're positively radiating Nicholas Sparks. Tell me everything about this, Trev. Oh, there's nothing to tell. Just one of Betty's sources. There's nothing romantic in the offing. Why is everything weird here? Why can't a date just be a date? What about you, Archie? How's life in a PG world? PG, post Grundy. What, too soon? Coach Clayton says I have a shot at being varsity captain, so I'm not thinking about anything else right now. You're back to being boring. Are you maybe throwing yourself into football as a way to avoid your feelings? I'm not avoiding anything, Betty. I'm trying to get my life back on track. I can help with that. Uh, I know Miss Grundy was tutoring you. Understatement of the year. But there's this amazing songwriter from New York who's an adjunct at Carson College, incredible mentor. He does some coaching on the side, and I told him about you. You want to meet him? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, but football. No, Archie can, and he will. Call him if you want, but do it soon. His spots fill up fast. Thank you, though. Hey, now you have zero excuse for avoiding music. Sorry to interrupt Sad Breakfast Club, but I'm here to formally invite you to Jason's memorial at Thornhill this weekend. To my surprise and chagrin, Mother added you to the guest list in case we tempted to steal our silver candlesticks. Don't. We'll be searching bags. Hey, try to remember, she is burying her brother. 